Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official USA DJI dealer. You've probably been watching a lot of our videos on how to's, how to get started, and a lot of new Phantom Pilot videos we have online. So today we wanted to get a little more specific and go into some detail about the Phantom hardware. Now on the Phantom there's lots of different screw sizes and bolt sizes and we want to make sure that you, you know the difference between which screw goes where. So if you've had your first crash and you're wondering what screw goes where, this video is for you. So we're going to quickly show you now which screw goes where and what size. Okay, so here's the bolts that go on the bottom of your Phantom. The first in the lineup is going to be this really small, tiny little Phillips head screw that goes on the end of the arm of each motor. So off the end of each motor there's going to be this little tiny screw here and that's going to fasten the very end of the arm on your Phantom. The next in the lineup is going to be the smaller one with the metric head. It's going to be an Allen wrench top on there. So that one goes in the arms. So not in the motor, very important. This does not go in the motor. This one actually goes on the arms of the bottom of the Phantom and we'll show you where that goes in just a minute. The next one in the lineup, if you measure the threading down, it'll be right about a quarter inch on this bolt. So this is your motor bolt. Use this one to put the motor back on and fasten it to the Phantom. If you use anything longer than around a little, little off longer than a quarter inch or so, you're going to end up breaking your motor, you're going to end up damaging the motor, or you're going to fry an ESC or just fry the whole thing together. So very important that you get this straight when you go to put your motor back on. If it's touching the copper coils at all, you can destroy your motor. So very important that you keep your motor bolts. Now the last one that we have in the lineup is going to be for the landing gear. Now there's eight of these total on the landing gear. So just a typical uh, Phillips head screwdriver, you can take those off. Now we'll show you where each one goes. So the first one we talked about was the screw that goes on the end of the arm. And that goes right inside here and screws down. And you want to put one of those on each arm. The next screw with Allen heads on them. So, and there are two different lengths. It's very easy to get these two messed up. So the longer one goes into the motor mount. And you'll screw that down. The shorter one goes into the body of the Phantom. And we'll show you that next. So we were talking about the body screws. The body screws go in three different locations on the arm. They go one here, one here, and one here in the long and the deeper hole. One here, one here, one here, and the same on the other two arms. So when you go to put back this Allen bolt, remember that this is going to be the shorter one of the two. And we'll just go ahead and put that one back in. Okay, the last but not least is the landing gear Phillips head screw. The landing gear Phillips head screw, there's two on each arm of the landing gear. Just goes on there. And then we can tighten that back down. And that's it. That's all there is too though, the body hardware of the Phantom. So that's it. That's all you need to know for taking apart your frame for the first time and putting it back together. Those are the different bolts that you're going to encounter. So thanks again for watching the Drone Camps RC channel. Uh, we have a lot of tips and tricks, so stay tuned. I'm Justin Davis. Please click subscribe.